Hey there, and welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And today we're going to cover, you know, Lightwave and Modeler. These two little icons on here that look all cool and 3D-like. All right, so if you're still here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on model and please ignore all of this weird, janky stuff happening off to the right of the screen here. That is just weird, janky stuff. You know, that's what happens when you try to make a video where you don't have interlace flicker and other weird stuff. This is gonna be super basic, okay? So this is the modeler program of Lightwave. Now, Lightwave, by the way, if you don't know, if you don't know this, then I don't even know why you're watching, but Lightwave was the dominant 3D uh, animation package for, you know, what, the mid 1990s, late 1990s, early 2000s, mid 2000s. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to make a box. Yes, look at that, there we go. Actually, this is technically not a box. This is a, what is it, a rectangle thing? So let's go to display over here and click on the option button. Go to where it says preview type and it says moving solid. We're gonna say that. And oh, look at that. There it is, wiggling over there. Oh geez, what am I doing? Light wave. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and click on like, you know, one of the polygons here and we're gonna just Press the B button, bevel, click OK, and there we go. Look at that, we create a bevel. And if you look over here, you can kind of see it. Look at this, look at that. There it is, bevel, bevel, see, bevel, sweet. Let's go over here and click on the second layer, kind of like Photoshop, you know, like Photoshop, a second layer. And let's go ahead and create a ball. A ball, oh my God, a ball. This is advanced 3D technology, a ball. Oh no, what is he doing? He's creating a ball. Look at the ball wiggling over there. Ball wiggling. That's my ball wiggling and for all of you to see. And then let's go back to the box. Oh, look at the box. The box is really big. The box is bigger than the ball. It might be, it just, it just might be. So now that the box is in the foreground and the ball is in the background, we're gonna press this key that I'm not gonna tell you about. And we'll come over here and just move it down here. Oh, this is 1990s 3D animation, 3D modeling technology. Oh, we're, we're all witnessing this. Oh, it's so amazing. Gonna click this button here. We're gonna say subtract. And what do we get? What do we get when we do that? Click the button here. <gasps> Look at this. Our box with the bevel now has a hole cut out of it. That is pretty freaking cool. Dude, come on. It's like 1990, what, 1995, 1994, 1995? And you're doing this in real time with like computers that can't even connect to the internet. Think about that for a second. You can't connect to the internet. You can, maybe you can connect to it like a BBS. Yeah, if you're like a super, super net nerd, but most weren't, most weren't. They just, come on, be honest, you guys weren't. We're playing video games. You're playing video games, and if you're lucky, maybe you were slightly aware of the internet or slightly you know, aware of the internet that existed at that time. But you know what? F the internet. I just booleaned a hole out of a box with a bevel. <laughs> Show me what you got. You got nothing. You got nothing. Now, Ben Tool? What's Ben Tool going to do? Oh, you know what? I know what? I, oh, let me try this. Let me try this. Bend tool. I'm gonna click over here. Oh no, look what I'm doing. I'm actually bending the box. I'm bending, oh, but it's not showing up in that little spinny 3D thing up there. Oh, uh, until I let go. Now it shows up, look at that. Yes, look at this. Can you imagine doing this in like 1994? Modeler, ladies and gentlemen, modeler. Okay, enough of modeler. I don't really do this, I'm not a modeler. Modeling is for uh, people that are not me. 
Let me go over here to load scene and let's find something fun. I'm not gonna load something that I've done. I know a lot of you are like, okay, Q, we've seen all your stuff. I don't wanna see any more of it. Let's go ahead and load something fun. I don't know what, ape walk. Oh, look at that, okay. All right, so we can already see there's, this is something pretty big. Show us points, wanna show us points. Ooh, 30 frames a second, it's an NTSC scene, that's good. Go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's make a preview. Make the preview. Why? Oh, okay, 39 frames. Well, so this is one of those like animation things, like you know Disney style. So of course you don't need a lot of animation frames because it's probably going to loop. I hope, right? So as you can see here, we got the little dots. Press play, and yep, sure enough, it loops. So that's why you don't need a lot of animation frames. In fact, this didn't take that long. So let's go ahead and say show all as full wireframes and let's make that preview as a full wireframe how much longer is that going to take than points oh oh my well that's going to take a lot longer than points oh no we're already at like frame 11 12 13 14 15 16, my patience has ended. Okay, so uh, what do we got? Play. Yep, there you go, look at that, yes. All right, let's go ahead and fire off a frame of rendering. A frame of rendering, is that a, is that a word? Here we go, a frame of rendering. It's a, it's a robot, that, that's, that's, that's what it looks like. It's definitely a shiny robot. Oh, look at this. So, you know, the whole point of that's look at we got no not only is this like a robot look at all the cool multicolor lighting we've got going on here right again 1994 95 96 yeah this is pretty freaking sweet okay i like his little weird you know not symmetrical eye things going on there that's pretty slick yeah so yeah light wave uh look let's check the lights out yeah we got some lights here we got uh, oh it's okay so this is a two light setup it's a two light setup. We've got a blue light, and let me guess, the other one's like, what, a red light? Eh, orange, close enough. And then the ambient, the ambient light, which is just white, okay. All right, so let's go to the next thing. That's the robot walking. So now we're in the vehicles folder. So what do we got here? Landenberg in storm. Well, that's that's really curious. Um, what What is that? Oh, here we go, look at this. Oh, it's a blimp, it is a blimp. Oh, look, animation, and oh, let's go ahead and make a preview of that. We gotta see that. We all love to see the previews. Let's see the previews. Ooh, yes, things are happening. You know, look, for those of you that tune into this channel to see cool Amiga stuff, like I wanna see the next Amiga 1200 upgrade or Amiga 600 upgrade. Yeah, you're not seeing that. You're seeing light wave stuff, because that's what we're doing right now. We're doing light wave stuff. So just uh, calm down and uh, accept the fact that you're seeing light wave stuff. D D2 NTSC, really? D2 NTSC? All right, okay, fine, let's, uh, what does this actually look like? We all wanna see, cause we're really curious. Well, oh, it's amazing, it's a big dark cylinder, and uh, it did, I don't know what's going on. What, 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 what is this gonna look like? Oh, light wave on the Amiga. You are a graphics person who wants to make you know, animation in 3D, you just spent $3,000 on an Amiga 3000, or maybe an Amiga 4000. You did actually buy the standalone LightWave software. Okay, the standalone LightWave software for, I think it was like 750 bucks or something. And now, here you go, you load up the blimp scene, you tell yourself, I can make a movie out of this. I can figure out how to make a movie using this blimp scene. I mean, look at this. We got like rain clouds and storm clouds and, these clouds and this blimp, I can do it. I spent the money on this Amiga system. It's 1996, 95, 94. I can figure this out, I can do it. This computer is gonna make me a million dollars. Lightwave on the Amiga. Yet another video, I showed some modeler. And uh, thanks for watching, I guess I'm done with this video. Is this really a video? I actually don't think this is a real video. I mean, this is, I, it, this is a lot of rambling, really. Is that what this channel's become? Oh my God.